Hey guys, it's Chris, and I was getting ready to record another video tonight. My computer did act up again one time. I was running Windows and a game, so I'm hoping if I don't let it run too hot, it'll be okay. Um, I do have to catch up on some things from Foodie Foodie Beauty because um, there are some videos she posted in the past week and a half uh, regarding bed and stuff like that that I do want to discuss because I have issues with that type of stuff. Um, and I have for many, 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 many years. Uh, and she posts this. Uh, 2 a.m. homemade spaghetti and meatballs mukbang. Freaking hell. I was like, okay, well then let's just do this. Um, I am severely cutting, I'm cutting back on my calories. I am watching my portions, what I am eating. I've been in definitely a little bit of a quick stall. So I have to cut back pretty drastically because um, for those of you who know me, I'm a very petite framed woman. My jobs are sedentary. I have severe hormonal imbalances, PCOS, severe insulin resistance. So yes, I'm metabolically challenged right now and it will get better as the weight comes off. But right now it's tough. So I'm going to sit here and watch Fro Frodo. Do you hear Frodo in here making noises and he's like grumbling and stuff? Um, he's never far away. Um, he wants attention. But um, it, this, this woman shouldn't even be awake at 2 a.m. She should be asleep, not, not awake and freaking eating. And it's like, here I am, like really having to tighten up a diet and eat what these women would consider consider so little and they could eat so much and and lose weight and and they're sitting here doing this so uh yeah like Chantel and, and and Amber they're up all night when nobody's around to entertain them the world is asleep and they're bored and they eat although I think they kind of stay up late at night when everyone goes to sleep so they can secretly do their eating but um, I'm sure this is going to be good and gross. This is probably just a diabetic's dream meal here. Um, let, let's just get into this. And I don't know if I'll get through all of it. I'm going to do my best. If you're listening and not watching, she put a placard on here that says 2 a.m. Kuwait. Like, like she's flexing. Like, oh, that's a brag. It's 2 a.m. And I'm guessing she's going to eat a portion for a, 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 a family of two or three at least. And here I am, like I said, with my decaf coffee with some sugar-free creamer and a Gatorade meal replacement protein bar. It's the chocolate pretzel, which by the way, these are amazing guys. The, the protein, the Gatorade protein bars, they're really good. Uh, I've only had about including this about 47 carbs today. So I'm still definitely in the low carb range, but they are definitely a meal replacement. Uh, if you are somebody like Chikara Transformations where you can eat a lot, this could maybe pass as a snack for you. But for me, it's like a replacement meal. So I had two meals today. I had a Caesar salad with chicken earlier and now I'm having this. Uh, this is the chocolate pretzel. I will link them down below with my Amazon affiliate link. The couple of, uh, the two or three, um, flavors that I've tried, they are delicious, but guys, they're 330 to 360 calories. Like I said, if you are on a tight calorie limit, like myself, definitely, definitely utilize them as a meal replacement, not on top of all your meals. You see her, <laughs> did you see her lift that giant plate of spaghetti? Right from under her fupa. Well, hello guys. And look at how happy she is. This broad is never happier than when she's eating. Yuck. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. We have a wonderful spaghetti dinner here with homemade meatballs I made. <laughs> so. So it's good that it's homemade and stuff. It's good she cooks. But those are no doubt probably very greasy and very high fat. Let me just pour some parm cheese. 
and I go crazy with that Parmesan. So does my son. He's just like me. Guys, that's like 20, 30 calories a serving. That's probably like seven servings. That's probably like 150 calories just in Parmesan. <laughs> and this bitch above all else needs to get weight off. She needs to get so much weight off so freaking fast. She can't even, she can't even say poop, you know. If you know that joke, you know that joke. Um, and the other thing is, she's got to start cutting carbs. Like, actually, legitimately cutting them. Cutting the carbs and cutting the fast food. When, when diabetes really starts rearing its ugly head, and it will, she's not going to be laughing and thinking this is funny and cute anymore. Just you watch. Bismillah. I'm so hungry. It's like 2 a.m. And... You should be asleep at 2 a.m., you idiot. What do you do all day that merits you to be so starving at 2 a.m.? Not a goddamn thing. I just got back from a five-minute walk. Oh, oh, sorry. My bad. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm here being a shitlord. She went on a five-minute walk, guys. Oh, well, no wonder she has to, like, refuel. I mean, hence the carb loading. <laughs> Is she freaking joking? Um, so I'm just replenishing here. Hey, stinky cheese. Sorry, channel dog is barking at the neighbors. Do you see that freaking dopamine hit after she took that whole two chews of that giant first bite of spaghetti? She doesn't chew her food. Carbs or sugar. She gets that dopamine hit. I mean, look at that. She's she's happy. She's like a pig in poop. And what? Is this the whole wheat spaghetti she said she was using? Guess what? I hate to break it to you. Whole wheat or regular, it, it doesn't freaking matter. Pasta is pasta. This is no different. The only way this could be better, legitimately better, was if it was like zucchini noodles or something like that. Those... um. Those like noodles made out of the mushrooms that are like no calorie, no carb. I can't remember the name of them, but this, it doesn't matter if it's regular spaghetti or whole wheat. It's still a big pile of freaking sugar and it's 2 a.m. And she has like six giant meatballs. This, this whole meal though is probably seriously like, I don't know. At least 800 calories. I'm probably lowballing it because a, a serving of pasta is not that big. That is probably legitimately, depending on how deep that plate actually is, um, like three to four. I would say probably about four servings of pasta, maybe more. I mean, Chantel, if you're not going to give up the food, could you at least just start freaking eating for merely a, a party of two? Instead of three or four or five, just eat for two people. That would be a start. That would be a dainty portion for your greedy ass. Nothing like yeah, I'm a little hangry. Can you tell? <laughs> Baby bowls. Am I right? So how do I make my meat? And I, wa I looked at the comments before I started this. And there was a bunch of people getting on her about eating so much, eating so many carbs, eating so late. And um, she's going to nuke them, though. So I, I screen grabbed them real quick so I can post them up on Twitter. But even people who love her are sitting there saying, girl, what are you doing? Meatballs. Ground meat, of course. You could have, okay, ground meat is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with beef and red meat, guys. There's nothing wrong with natural fats. But... Like I said, right now is truly desperate times for uh, Chins here. Um, she could have made it a little less fat with uh, ground chicken or even better ground turkey because turkey is even leaner than chicken. Ground turkey, 
maybe add a little bit of ground beef in there just for a little bit of uh, fat and moisture. But she could have cut it with ground turkey to make them lower calorie, lower fat, still have higher protein. And she could have added some vegetables in to bulk it up. She could have used zucchini noodles or she could have just done the meatballs, uh, a bunch of vegetables and maybe just a small serving of noodles mixed in just just for the sake of having it feel like spaghetti but she could have made zoodles zucchini noodles and she could have eaten a giant pile of them another one i love and even though it's carbs it's still better carbs and it's still much lower carbs than this is spaghetti squash i love it it's delicious um <laughs> any decision would be better than the ones this woman makes. Um, some parm cheese, one egg, salt and pepper, a whole bunch of spices, paprika, cumin, whatever. I blend in the food processor. Don't forget that uh, heaping helping of uh, uh, diabetic neuropathy or something. Some spring onion, green pepper, coriander, or cilantro. And then look at these big pork, like these bites she takes are so huge like she's so concerned about how people feel about her and wants to be sexy to sala but but then she eats like a barnyard creature tomato mm. and that's why i make them you can make meatballs with any kind of ground meat chicken turkey yeah, and those would have been technically the healthier ones, even though I have nothing against red meat. It's super healthy. But like I said, she needs to cut back where she can because she is so unwilling to make changes that it is actually a, a little bit astounding how unwilling she is to change, how gluttonous she is, how obsessed with food she is. Like, wow anything <clears throat> but it's another time to make spaghetti and meatballs i know but i had to use this meat and yeah like i was saying before the kid called she wants to be sexy the sala she wants him to want her <laughs> she says she's hotter than 90 percent of youtube plus she sits there and eats in the most disgusting manner gets food all over herself has no manners like what's sexy about that what what in the heck i want to know what sala's family thinks of her they're probably appalled by him too no doubt because if not i reckon it would go bad wait what'd she say because if not i reckon it would go bad oh the meat Ooh. Lemon water. Nice to see she's drinking water and not juice. Her drinking that juice just makes me irrationally maddy. Again, she's just going to run into a world of hurt. In fact, she's going to. If you can look at this, like, still and look at her fingernails. she Somebody pointed it out on Twitter, and they are right. She is, in fact starting to get clubbing of her fingernails i looked back at old photos of her and they weren't always like that so that is indicative of usually some type of a serious health problem going on particularly uh stuff related to the lungs I bet you chantelle's body doesn't know what to do with that water it's probably ready to reject it like what is this I love it. Yeah, sure. I know I have a lot of parm. I would rather not eat spaghetti if there's not a mountain of parm, so. How about you just don't eat the freaking spaghetti? Non-compliant type 2 freaking diabetic. This is the kind of woman, the kind of person who's just a drain on the healthcare system, a waste of resources. I'm sorry if I'm being mean because she's going to get sicker and sicker, needs care, needs medicine, needs apparatuses needs treatments yet 
comes home at the end of the day and continues to do all this shit that made her sick in the first place. She doesn't deserve the treatment. I mean, I everybody is entitled to care. But I'm just saying, it is a waste on her. I love prom cheese. <laughs> it just adds so much flavor. Yeah, people. They're soft because I didn't use breadcrumbs, but I don't have breadcrumbs. Good, you don't need them. Bite, bite, bite. Chantel, you should shove that fork further back in your mouth. I don't think you poked your tonsils with it that time. And I thought she wasn't supposed to be using a fork. I mean, it would be hard to eat spaghetti with a spoon, but I can see her just going all in with her hands. So I really don't have much to talk about. Um, not really any updates for you. Then why are you doing this mukbang? Oh, yes. Because the feeder money. You need the feeder money. She cannot say she's not getting money from feeders. She absolutely is. But In that case, Chantel, you don't have to do anything but sit there and eat. And then look at her sitting there. She has, literally has spaghetti and sauce hanging out the side of her mouth, out of the corner of her mouth on her, on her face. She eats like such an animal, a, a, not even a self-respecting animal. I mean, this is how you eat when you are two and three and four years old, five maybe. But once you're like six, seven, eight, nine, well, especially once you're like eight, nine, ten, up and above, you don't eat like this. And God, she just, it's amazing to me how gross this woman is. Yes, I did make this out like two. Yeah, and she's sitting there with that sauce all over her mouth. This is feeder content. We're watching feeder content, and YouTube is paying her to do it. <laughs> do you think some people are just like born to be night people? No, I think some people, like you, are born to be gluttons. Dude, she's gross. Oh my god. I'm not oh, sure. She finally looked in the viewfinder and saw that sauce all over her face. I'd say day people are the most successful, like usually, typically, and it's not true for everyone, but I'm generalizing because that's what they say. Yeah, Chantel, you stay up all night because nothing's open. You don't have a job. You don't have a family. You don't have responsibilities. You stay up all night when the productive world's away, asleep, and then you sleep all day. You're not up during a day because then people might expect things of you. They might try to give you responsibilities or expect you to be somewhere or do something or help somebody. Ugh, heaven forbid. You know, statistically, that day people are the most productive. They're business people, things like that, entrepreneurs. My guess is entrepreneurs just get sleep whenever they can. <laughs> Chantel, I ran my do. own business for a long time as a soap, as a soap shop and just from home and I'm starting it back up and same with other entrepreneurs you joke oh well they can work anytime you want people who have their own business and stuff that's successful they're not sleeping in sleeping till 8 9 10 12 and then just doing whatever they they are working usually more than if they worked for someone else entrepreneurs a lot of them work 10, 12, 15, 16, 18 hours a day, seven days a week. They work sometimes from seven in the morning till midnight. She just had that smirk on her face like, oh, the entrepreneurs, they can like work whenever they want. Yeah, and you know what? They work usually a hell of a lot. Excuse me, barely sleep. What did she say, wait? My guess is entrepreneurs just get sleep whenever they can. <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. They probably barely, excuse me, barely sleep. Yeah, yeah. And here you are sleeping for and eating for three or four people. God, her bites are so huge and gross. Oh my God. Um, but the night people tend to be more creative people, like artsy people. Okay, so then what's your deal? Because you're not artsy or creative. And you're not an entrepreneur and you're not productive. <laughs> like, what's her, what is she?
No, I'm not artsy. It's social media creation. Is that art? <laughs> you can be. No, sitting here shoving your face full of uh, copious amounts of food in a disgusting manner that you shouldn't be eating. That's not creative, Chantel. In fact, your mukbangs are about the least creative content you could put out there. There's no thought to it. You don't, can't even hold a good conversation half the time. Can't even, you know, tell a story in a good manner because you, how much you have to stop and chew and swallow and moan and groan and have your food gasms. Your content is the easiest, laziest, most uncreative shit there is. Oh, you need to look at my drink so it makes you see. <laughs> it was out of view. These are just falling. Well, get it back out of you. I'm sure the feeders don't like that water. The part. It's not church basement spaghetti, but. Ugh. And church then the eating sounds. Guys, this is freaking nasty. Meatballs? No, not even because. Why am I doing this at like nine o'clock at night? I think church basement spaghetti meatballs would be like. Um, I would have to say they probably use, no, I think I was going to say they use frozen meatballs, but. No, they don't. Not all of them. I don't think that's true because. It doesn't matter to you, Chantel. You'd eat them if they were uh, church basement meatballs, homemade meatballs from you, frozen meatballs, uh, made out of cardboard meatballs. It doesn't matter. You would eat them. I think that those you know, friendly, cute old ladies, volunteers who volunteer there probably have a good wartime. Truth be told, we used to have some good spaghetti in our church basements. Meatball recipe or something. <laughs> and honestly, this looks like a smaller portion for her now that I see how deep the plate is. It was only about three servings of pasta, guys, and about... Two and a half servings, three servings of meatballs, not four or five. My grandmother on my dad's side always used to make the best sweet and sour meatballs. From scratch. They were good. The sauce, the tomato sauce. I made it. She probably put like a quarter cup of freaking olive oil in it and butter. With, I use my food, I love my food processor. Fresh tomatoes that were very ripe needed to be used up. So I thought, how perfect. So and fresh tomato sauce is great and she could make it healthy. I know you can put oil or butter and seasonings and stuff into it. But, like, these are things she needs to cut back on and um, little modifications she could make to still eat stuff she likes and craves while making them healthier just to help her. Because, like I said, it is really getting to be desperate times for, for uh, Ch Chantel here. So, I, you know, I used my food processor for the garlic first, sauteed it in a little bit of butter and olive oil. And by a little, her version of a little is very different than most people's version of a little. Added pureed tomato sauce, fresh tomatoes, a little bit of tomato paste. Some seasonings. Um, what else? Yeah, it's very, I can taste the garlic. Yum. The best smell ever is the sauteing fresh garlic. It's so good. And onions. Mm. Dude, just the faces she makes and the like mannerisms when she eats so freaking weird. It's gross, man. I added a tiny bit of cream. I added a tiny bit of cream. So like, see, she didn't, for a tomato sauce, like a marinara, she didn't need to add cream. So she had the meatballs with the full fat, the little bit of olive oil and butter, 
which was probably a lot. Plus she added cream. And let me tell you, I have heavy cream out in my kitchen. And I believe it's one or two tablespoons is a serving and it's 50 calories. And I guarantee she free poured that shit in there probably to the tune of about four or five servings at least. So that's like another what? Probably 300, 400 calories in cream plus the oil. Yeah. To the it top. adds up real quick. The inside of the meatball. Try blending up pepper and putting it in your meatball or meatloaf. Yeah, Chantel's like a kid. You have to like hide vegetables in her food and stuff so she eats them and gets some nutrition. You know how like parents who have picky kids and they hide, the, blend up vegetables and hide them and stuff so the kids don't know they're in there? That's what you got to do with Chantel. It has such a nice flavor profile. Well, then you shouldn't be eating it. Chantel, you shouldn't be eating anything that you find extremely pleasant and enjoyable or you think has a nice flavor profile. You need to be eating shit you don't enjoy at all. That way you're in, inclined to eat less of it. You've enjoyed your food enough for one lifetime. You need to worry about not enjoying food right now. You need to worry about just eating stuff that's nutritious, that is good for your blood sugar and to get weight off. I mean, pardon my language, but fuck enjoying food at this point, Chantel. You don't, you don't have that luxury anymore. And I'm not saying like healthy food can be delicious. It can be. And a lot of us would like it. But Ch Chantel would overeat it. At this point, she, she needs to eat stuff that she does not find appealing. Because if she finds it at all enjoyable, she's going to stuff herself with it really does. I'm surprised she hasn't pulled like a loaf of garlic bread or something out from under her fupa or something by now. Where's the bread? Like there's got to be naan or something pita somewhere. You know what? I take it back. I don't want to know where she's hiding that. Mm -mm, no way. There's no right or wrong way to make a meatball. It's just add whatever you like. <laughs> I just add whatever. So I'm always improvising like that. But. And the thing is, is Chantel is more willing to cook and does more actual cooking than Amber Lynn. Amber only fries a couple things or stick stuff in the air fryer or heats up frozen like frozen stuff. Chantel will make a freaking pot pie. Will make homemade meatballs and sauce. Like she she is ahead of Amber like in that regard. But um I think amazingly, I can't believe it. I think Am I think Foodie has even less self-control than Amber does, at least with food. And that's unbelievable because Amber has slim to none. I mean, make no bones about it. I said it in a Twitter comment the other day, and I, I've been thinking it out loud, and I mean it. Um, if Foodie lives long enough, that's a big if because she's 40 and direly ill. If she lives long enough, God's willing, she will eat herself to around Amber Lynn's weight. She's probably about 400, 415 now. Because you got to remember, Chantel still has fairly skinny legs and stuff, all things considered. She's all gut, all torso. But give her enough time, she will eat herself to probably easily close to 500 pounds. She will at some point be neck and neck with Amber Lynn. It just, it's a... I don't think she's actually going to get there because I, I think she's going to go by then. I, I don't think, I don't think eating like this, Chantel makes all these big statements about I'm going to change. I've had a revolution, blah, blah, blah. And then she, she does this. Like she doesn't even last a freaking day. She, she doesn't mean it when she says she's going to change and do better. So she's not going to do better. And if she keeps this up, I really think she maybe only has another two to three and a half, four years left. 
And that could be being generous. I'd love to know what life and life, life and vibe thinks. She's an RN. I'd love to know how much time she gives foodie. Shout out to Ray. I mean, like I said, this woman does, doesn't only eat the most unhealthy shit, but she eats a portion for literally three to four people, like family sized portions. It's, it's not like she's eating bad stuff, but she's eating a fairly normal portion. She just absolutely gorges herself. Oh. And she can't see him being hungry. So she's really in for a lot of trouble with dieting because guess what? In order to lose weight, this bitch is going to have to be hungry sometimes. In fact, a lot of the time, she's going to have to learn to deal with it. Her stomach's probably huge. It's probably stretched out and she doesn't like feeling hungry. She can't stand it. I don't believe she can. So until she's willing to, to deal with that and face that and be uncomfortable and do the hard work, <laughs> like nothing is going to matter. Yum. So much flavor. I tried to clean up as I was going. But. Well, she, we know she's a messy person. Right? Like she's a real messy person. Let me tell you. It's not going to be the fun part. That's the fun part about cooking, right? The worst is always the cleanup. <laughs> Especially when you go to huge dinner events like Thanksgiving or Christmas or... Ah, oh, her just slurping those noodles in. Dude, it's... Oh, I can't deal with it. Especially at 9 o'clock at night. Oh, that's such a lovely evening. I might have to get the dog out for another walk, me and the partner, Ugh, just because I feel fat and dirty watching this. Ugh. I'm full. Like a star? Yeah, right. She's not full. If she's full and couldn't finish that meatball, it's because she ate a couple pitas dipped in the sauce or had a plate before she started this. <laughs> that was a dainty portion, like I said, for Miss Chantel. As an adult, you're expected to, you know, and you should. Help clean. But yeah, so why don't you try it someday, uh, Chantel? You're a kid? Like a young kid? You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, kids should have to do something. That's how they learn. Clearly, you never had to. I used to complain about... Probably everything. Having to sit at a separate table. Like, when my grandma on my dad's side would throw a Christmas dinner, for example, as a kid. All the kids there would have to sit, excuse me, at like a separate plastic table. <laughs> yeah, that's what we did when we had big Christmases. I'm so, I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't put her at a different table now. Because who would, who would have an appetite for a holiday meal? I'm not trying to be rude, but who would have an appetite watching her eat? Eating around her. It, it would put you off of, of wanting to eat. The way she takes huge bites and gulps and, and slurps and food's literally dripping on her and she's spilling it on her and it's smeared all over her face. I mean, she, she's gross. She has no manners. She has no control with herself around food. They should put her at a different table now so they could actually eat. Looks like a Fisher Price table set or something. Well, not that because that wouldn't work. Um, adults would be laughing and drinking and whatever but they had to clean up we didn't <laughs> anyways guys it's uh, just a short little i i know you've gone to events with sala where you were supposed to help clean up and stuff and apparently the other women said you did no such thing because you're just lazy i'm sure you sat there and attended the event and ate the food of course you did you didn't help clean up or set up or do anything like that because Chantel thinks she's a queen anyways okay well, there was nothing but bitching for me to do in this video. <laughs> Hope you liked it. Um, it's a bonus upload. I'm going to, like I said, cover a couple other things she put out over the past week and a half. But this was a little, a little bonus. Um, 
Hope you liked it. I will see you in the next video. If you want to leave a comment and you don't have anything to say, put a spaghetti or something like that in spaghetti or a meatball or something in the comments. And I will see you in the next one.